Good day, fakes. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but I've just been pretty flat out and busy with TAFE assignments, and now I'm in uni, so I'm just going to be much more focused on that rather than make all these videos. I've been sorry I haven't made a video in about six, seven, eight months, but yeah, hope um, all of you are well and such, and yeah. Not much has really um, happened. I just got some, um, I just won some stuff at an auction I picked up today. Um, this is for um, Ed Aussie 50. This is a Simon Insecticuta. Unfortunately, it is not um, its original look because it, it's been painted and such. But I only got it for about $9. And yeah, this. Once I get it working, I might maybe put on a side wall and that will shit over that bug zapper by a million times. I am going to have to buy a um, round tube for it, but at the moment I do have a white one somewhere up there, which I can just use to test it out with. And yeah, let's go. I've already plugged it in. It does zap and stuff, but it's all good. Let's show you around there. Um, hmm. Just see, because usually these have a starter in them. Um, that's a grid at the back of it. It's one of the labels. I'll just turn it around. Um, it's danger, do not touch, electrified grid, 6,000 volts. Okay, uh, there's a little label in there. Suitable for indoor use only, model WM3, primary 240 volts at 50 hertz, 0.9 amps. Maximum rated output voltage, 6,000 volts. Manufactured by Henry Simon Australia, 40 Francis Street, Glebe, New South Wales, old phone number, it's also a Melbourne number and a New Zealand number. I doubt they'll be still around because usually these things are now made in China, unfortunately. And yeah. Anyway, let's get cracking. So you can see. And as well, along where I got this bug zapper from, I won an auction also won these fire extinguishers as well. Want a CO2 extinguisher? It's pretty heavy, so it's about full. These are all powder extinguishers, two larger ones and two smaller ones. They're all fully charged, and got this, got that zapper for a, one at nine dollars, and I won these at nine dollars, so eighteen dollars all up. That sounds pretty good, which is great. Now just have a look at this bug zap. I'm going to have to do it off camera because I need both hands. Thank you. Well guys, I managed to get the grid off and there's a little um, bug collection tray. The unit's actually upside down and I managed to find the starter just um, underneath that bug insect tray thing. And now I should test it. It's in reasonable condition. It's not greasy but it's a bit rusted out but should... Um, turn up well. OK, 
a um, I've replaced the starter uh, with a fresh one and also I've just put a test tube in, it's just an ordinary white tube. Let's just see if it works, see if it takes out the breaker or not. Oh. Cool. Let's see, I haven't even 